Hey everyone, it's Argonath here from Return of the Fan and another video. Uh, this time we're going to be looking at cancellation of Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh no, you might be thinking, I don't want the Guardians of the Galaxy to be cancelled. Don't worry, it's not the movies. It's the actual woke trash comics which are getting the cancellation, uh, not the actual movie itself. So uh, you can breathe a sigh of relief if you're a fan of the movies. If you're a fan of the comic book, then more than likely you'll probably be happy as well, unless you're a woke uh, Twitter user um, who actually likes the trash um, that they were putting into their Guardians of the Galaxy current comics. So, um, Al Ewing's run on Guardians of the Galaxy emphasised alphabet representation and cancelling the series results in a huge hit for Marvel's diversity. Oh no, it's Marvel! Oh, you're going to get it now from all those woke fans that you've been trying to uh, pander to all this time. The recent cancellation of Marvel's latest Guardians of the Galaxy series has resulted in a massive void in the company's alphabet representation. Wildly popular with some fans... <laughs> no, I, I put in some... Uh, that's my own uh, emphasis there. Widely popular with fans? No, 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 no. It was widely popular with some fans of the left, right? Most of the actual people that were comic book fans did not buy your woke trash comics. Um, some have speculated that the title's emphasis on exploring the diversity of sexualities on the team was a major reason for Marvel's decision at the end of the series. It probably was because no one was actually buying it to make it worthwhile to invest money and to keep creating the series. But these woke, woke left hearts just can't um, put their brain, they don't have a brain probably, they can't think critically about these things as to why it's good. Oh no, it's just down to... So the bias against um, all the alphabet people. Throughout Al Ewing's 18 issue run on Guardians of the Galaxy, there was a heavy focus on uh, alphabet representation. You can have these people in your comics, but you don't need to have a heavy focus on them because that's not what people are interested in. All the woke people that you're pandering to on Twitter and so on, they will make comments about your stuff and talk about it and stuff, but they won't actually buy your comics. They're not comic book fans. The team's roster boasted a range of sexual orientations featuring prominent lesbian, bisexual, and gay couples, blah, 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 blah. With Star-Lord coming out as bisexual. He's never been bisexual in any of the comics before, so you had to make him bisexual. Personally, I've heard a lot of things on the internet that this is because they just wanted to get back at Chris Pratt, who plays Star-Lord in the movies, because he's a devout Christian. Um, and so that was their way of getting back at him for I don't know why. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, you just brought on yourselves because now your comic has been cancelled and you have to go and find some other work to do. The diverse identities made the series a wellspring of representation for alphabet readers. Uh, most of them didn't bother reading the comics because they're not interested in it. They just want to talk about it. But some fans believe they also led to or were contributing factor to the story's abrupt conclusion because they couldn't sell their comics. If you are too stupid to see that, then what more can I say? Unfortunately, Marvel's history of representing marginalized groups warrants these concerns, despite having taken tremendous steps to increase representation over the past several years and releasing alphabet-specific comics like Mar Marvel's Voices Pride. There have still been plenty of roadblocks to work through within the company. I think they just want to make money, but it doesn't seem like it with the new way that the MCU um, Phase 4 is going, with all the woke movies coming out. Ooh, I don't think it's going to be too good for Marvel in the long run. In early September, Kevin Beagle, the showrunner of Marvel's scrapped New Warriors television series, tweeted that the show was cancelled by an executive for being too gay. No evidence to support that. Prior to this, former Disney CEO Bob Iger revealed that he ran into similar narrow-minded complications with Marvel CEO Ike Perlmutter while trying to greenlight movies like Black Panther and Captain Marvel. Black Panther was pretty good um, on the whole. Uh, I quite enjoyed it, um, but there are still some problems with it. Hated Captain Marvel with the blatant feminism running through that particular movie when it didn't need to do that. I mean, look at this artwork of this comic. It just looks horrible. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Anyway, clearly Marvel's creators are still fighting an uphill battle to include alphabet content in their stories, further evidenced by the fact that the MCU's Eternals features one of the studio's first openly gay superheroes, Fastos. Uh, I wonder how well your movie's going to actually go. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's going to go as well as what these people think it's going to go. 
Um, I'm pretty sure that it's going to make a loss, but we'll just have to wait and see. I could still eat my words, it could turn out to be a massive hit, but somehow I just don't see it. But what's going to happen is all the uh, early access critics are going to come out for Marvel's Eternals and just give it glowing reviews because they know that if they don't give it a glowing review they're not going to get early access to any movies in the future. Don't take any early access reviews as anything other than um, with a grain of salt. You just cannot trust them. Um, so that's my advice to you. Um, whatever the case may be, cancelling series will unavoidably wipe out a huge contingent of Marvel's um, Alphabet characters from the company's release slate. Only the current line of X-Men comics rival the Guardians in terms of alphabet representation. Why do they have to keep gender swapping, sexuality swapping, established characters? Why can you not think up and create your own gay, lesbian, bisexual characters? Why can't you do that? Because you know it's not going to sell and you have to take away um, established characters which are already well loved by the fan base and who don't want their character to change right making you know changes to their environment and their story is fine but not the fundamental things which makes their character right they're not interested in that but all of these woke people just can't get that through their heads um, all they're interested in is gender sexuality um, and race pretty much um, and by thinking about that they're the ones that are actually being racist the ones that are actually being um, sexist and the ones that are actually being um, bringing all these things onto themselves you know what do you think do you think this is a, a great thing for comic books that this has been um, cancelled or do you think that they sh marvel should go entirely woke and you know bring it more and more into all of their comics i'd really love to hear what you think in the comment section um, i'll you know i'll reply to everyone that's not a problem if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you didn't like the video you're welcome to give me a thumbs down and if you like my content please subscribe it just means that um, more people will get to see my content through the youtube algorithm which would be awesome anyway hopefully i will catch you in the next episode